everybody. Happy Monday to you. Mark again here at Weatherman Plus. Got some big updates on this next major snowstorm as well as the potential for a major ice storm as well. Now, not only do I have updates on that, I have updates on what happened to me. If you haven't been here before, I've been missing for about three days now. I had some pretty major things happening to me as well. I will update it at the end of the video for those that want to know what happened and what's going on. But as for now, let's get into this weather because I'm showing that we still have two back-to-back -back major storms that's coming up very soon around Thanksgiving and after Thanksgiving and it's going to affect a good bit of people. If you've never been here before make sure you hit that subscribe button. I am all year long and make sure you hit that bell that way you can click all and know when my videos do come out. Now the system that we do have coming not only the one you deal with northeast bring a lot of rain some mixed precipitation but we have this cold air that's coming in soon right before Thanksgiving and we have a little pocket upper level low with some cold air that's going to feed some cold air into this jet stream. And it has potential for dropping ice along the way because it has a lot of precipitation. It's going to freeze that precipitation. And it could drop some ice. And as it goes towards Ohio Valley, drop some more ice, especially for the northeast. And not only one storm, we have one storm coming and then a second one coming right after. Now remember, all the links are in the description to help save you time. That way you can see what you need to see. I know a lot of y'all are traveling this week. You have a lot going on. I want to give you the best information you can for this traveling. Also, I have a nice link to let you know what impacts you are expected before Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving, and the day after. That way you know what you can expect, especially if you're traveling. But this is your weather alerts, and links always in the description, and they actually have a lot of warnings going on. But for here for Alabama, they actually have a hard freeze warning. It's expected to be in sub-zero temperatures, below 32. Now, the next 6 to 10 days, the National Weather Service does see that we're going to be well above average on the west side of the country while we're well below average on the east side. And this pattern is going to continue for the next 8 to 14 days, and it's going to continue to move to the east. Matter of fact, the information that's been updated is that a big warm-up is coming, warmer than expected. And as the daytime heating goes away, this cold air is going to stretch all the way to the south. And they actually have that hard freeze warning for Alabama, but I'm showing it's actually even warming up. It's got to do with the wind chill. Now, this link is in the description as well. That way you can zoom in and see for your area if you're in this warning. And they actually show, but it has all your counties right here that's under this warning. And it does say all the way until 9 o'clock tonight that it could get as low as 28 degrees. And actually, if you look, right at 9 o'clock tonight is actually when the temperatures are going to start dropping. But I don't show it going all the way down to 28 degrees. Maybe 29 for Huntsville, but it has starting to warm up. And it's starting to warm up everywhere, not only just for the temperatures, but it's making a difference on the ice, the snow, everything. Now, the part that's really going to be cold for your travel is the wind chill. Could we have this... Big line of very high winds coming down, and you see it going down to the south towards Alabama, then going down a little bit towards Georgia. This will bring in a very strong wind chill for everyone. And with your temperatures for this wind chill, as you start your day today, you see how Wisconsin, Minnesota, everybody is going to feel like you're in the teen temperatures. And the warmest you're going to get with this wind chill is going to feel like you're in the 20s, even for the Ohio Valley and the intercoastal northeast. Then as you go through tonight, then you get the really cold wind chills in the south. And they could get as low as 25 feel like temperatures for Alabama where they have that sub-zero freeze warning. But by later this evening, everybody's going to feel like they're in freezing temperatures and this will warm up just a little bit for tomorrow. Now when this system comes swooshing through from Texas to the Ohio Valley to the northeast, the GFS was picking up widespread ice, guys. Not even freezing rain, all ice from a quarter inch to a half an inch to almost an inch for Pennsylvania. It was a lot of ice. The Euro picked it up as well, almost the same area, but it also picked up that it's gonna be a lot of ice from Missouri, Kansas, Oklahoma, as this cold air from this upper level low gets trickled into this big storm system we come in, it was going to freeze along the way because there's a lot of dew points, there's a lot of moisture coming up from the Gulf, and it was going to freeze on its way to the northeast, and it was going to give a lot of ice. That's happening right before Thanksgiving and the day after Thanksgiving because we have two big storms coming. But now the update shows a greatly warming happening, guys. Look at this. Here's your Arctic Oscillation, GFS, and it does show that deepening of the cold air on the 25th and around the 29th, the two storms that we do have coming back to back. But if you notice how high up it is now, the cold air was all coming down here, and now it retracted all the way back 
Even the Euro shows these two dips of these two storms coming around the 25th, 24th, 25th, and around the 28th and 29th. Also agreeing that all these ensembles has backed up to a warmer trend and it's not going to be as cold as far down anymore. Which is great news because with a lot of ice and a major ice storm, which I'm sure we are going to get a lot of this winter. And this early, especially around Thanksgiving when everybody's giving thanks for, for being alive and just for things that they're thankful and grateful for. An ice storm knocking out a lot of people's power and then hindering the roads, causing a lot of accidents. That would have been really bad. So thank God I'm showing the information is now changing. Now this is from National Weather Service, link in the description. It is an interactive map. That way you can zoom in and see your area. It shows what you're getting for today. Mixed precipitation, which is rain and snow. Some more rain on the northwest. Snow in the white. And you can see it over here for the east coast as well. As you get into tomorrow, this is what you can expect from National Weather Service. A lot of snow starting to move in. Some snow, lake effect snow for the northeast. Then as you go into Wednesday, then you got the thunderstorms in the south. That low coming from the south. But it's bringing rainfall now and you get a little mixed precipitation in this purple and a lot of snow in this white but it's not bringing the, all that ice anymore the cold air even showed that it was going to be a major snowfall right on top of all that ice as that system moves to the northeast it was going to have ice on the south side of this snowfall and all ice on the south side of this snowfall but now with that colder air retracting back and warmer temperatures expected now it's all turning into rain. I know rain is not great, but it's way better than having ice or freezing rain. And this is early morning on the 25th when you had the cold air coming in. And this is our storm system moving towards Ohio Valley. And you can see how you got a little bit of mixed precipitation for the Panhandle of Texas. But you can see how far up our 540 line is, our freezing line. This was way down here, and it was freezing all this precipitation as it goes towards Ohio Valley. Then it was br still bringing mixed precipitation right here according to the Euro. So you're still getting some mixed rain. You could get some sleet. Maybe still a little bit of freezing rain. But it's not showing all that ice anymore. It's showing possibility for mix and some freezing rain. But it's not showing all the ice. But you will get some more snowfall. Mostly lake effect. But it's for the intercoastal northeast. As this system spins around for a couple of days. I'm still showing that to be true. But you can see here now with the updated run. No ice. Yay! <laughs> That's a really good thing. But Quebec is not going to be so great. It's still dropping massive amounts of ice for y'all. The latest run from this morning from the Euro all the way until next Monday, the next seven days. It does show that we do have some major snowfall for intercoastal northeast. I do have a timing for you. And higher elevations of the west with Idaho and northwest Montana getting some heavy snowfall as well. But you can see all that major snowfall that is over Quebec and going into Ontario and that's with all that ice as well and that's just till Monday if I keep going it just keeps adding up and GFS showed that there's a possibility for another swath of one to three inches going across the Midwest and a little bit of Ohio Valley. Euro showing almost the same thing you got major snowfall in our coastal northeast spreading out a little bit further with the one to three inches but you can see the heavy snowfall for Canada as well with all that ice they're getting. And it is only till Monday. If you keep going, you'll see the snow still adds up. But it's showing that, that next storm don't bring much at all. Very light amounts to the Ohio Valley. But I got this for you. The link is in the description. It's very free to use. And starting on Thursday, we're going to start getting some snowfall coming in to the northeast. And if you want to see how much you're getting according to the snowfall, just go to your area and you can zoom in and you can still move the time and date so you can get a little better timing. But you can zoom in all the way into your area and see what the snowfall is expected for you. And then you can see the timing by backing up and see when that snowfall is expected to come in. So far it's Friday morning into Saturday for that major snowfall for the Northeast. But for those that are traveling, you can click on this and you can move it anytime you want and it will update every time you load the page. Also got this for you in the description to let you know who's getting snow, rain, wet snow, ice, who's in store for what we're getting. But you can see all the rain coming from Texas now. The freezing line stops right around Colorado and that rain goes all the way to the Ohio Valley. Then the cold air comes behind it and all this green right here is all wet snow. So Michigan was going to get rain, then wet snow, then the temperature is going to come in good and it's going to turn into snowfall. But you got the same thing for the northeast. 
You have rain and snow. You got rain and you got wet snow. None of that is brown showing any ice. But it is showing that there is some freezing rain on that second system, which starts on the 27th. And you can see the freezing rain and where it's going. It's not a whole bunch of it, but there is a line of freezing rain, and this could grow. But here's a shot for you for Friday so you can kind of see what the difference is with this map. It'll let you know exactly who's going to be getting rain in the blue, wet snow in the green, snow in the white, and rain and snow in the yellow. And this is pretty accurate. If you want to know if you're going to get you're getting like New York, you're going to be getting rain first. Then you're going to be getting some wet snow. Then some possible snow moving in for Friday. But if you want to know if you're getting snow or not, you can come here and zoom into your area. And you can see what the timing is on whether it's going to be rain, snow, or wet snow for your area. Especially if you travel. Now I will update you on the amounts of this major snowfall. I don't see too much winds coming with it. But I don't see much happening. It looks like pretty good weather coming soon. A little bit of cold temperatures, some rain. It will be some nasty travel for some people, but it's not as bad as it was showing. So it has gotten better. So thank God for that. And for those that don't know, I actually have a shoulder injury and I can't move my right arm too good. I can't put it on my hip. I can't go out like that with it. And I turned off the light switch the other day in my room and walked out and I didn't drop my arm quick enough and it actually jerked my arm all the way back. I never screamed like that in a long time, <laughs> ever since really the military. <laughs> But it blocked my shoulder up. It messed me up really bad. Matter of fact, my wife got me this. I put it all on my shoulder and I've been having my shoulder encased in it three times a day as long as I can. It's a good ice pack. But my shoulder was really bad. I've never had that that bad before. But it actually worked out so good because I've actually gotten more than three or four hours of sleep, which is what I've only been getting for the last two months. And I actually got some for this weekend. So I just stayed in bed and recuperated. I saw y'all comments. God bless every single one of you. My family and I did read them. Matter of fact, that's why I took a lot of y'all advice. And I stayed in bed and just recuperated. Thank you so much for caring. Because not only am I very thankful for all of you. I'm very grateful that y'all come and visit me every day. I, I really appreciate that. Matter of fact, it's gotten so rough that... I can't do any of the moving, any of the packing for this move that we're doing to our new house. And in case those don't know, we did get a new place to move to. And we actually have a month to move into there uh, right before Christmas. And it's actually slowing that down because I got to pay for movers now to come move my house because I can't do it anymore. But I'm taking the elderberry pills that y'all recommended. It's a good recommendation for anti-inflammatory. Thank you so much. And that's pretty much all the doctors will do, whether it's an impingement or a tear. It's just give you anti-inflammatory, tell you to exercise, and give it rest and ice packs. That's all they would do anyway. So I'm just going to do that myself and just recuperate. I don't see any point in going to those specialists when they don't do anything special. <laughs> so, But at the same time, God bless all of you. I'm sorry for putting my troubles on this video. I just wanted to update y'all on what really happened to me and how bad it was. Now, on the flip side, <laughs> I hope you have a very great day today. God bless every single one of you. I really hope you have a very special week. Just remember to be safe, travel slow, give yourself lots of time. I know a lot of y'all are traveling. The weather seems a lot better than it was, so it shouldn't be that bad. And today I want to read something that's very close to my heart, some words that Jesus spoke in John 15. I am the true vine and my father is a husbandman. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. And every branch that beareth fruit, he purgeth it, that it may bring forth more fruit. Now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Abide in me, and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine. No more can ye, except ye abide in me. I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me ye can do nothing. If a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch, and is withered. And men gather them, and cast them into the fire, and they are burned. 
If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. Herein is my Father glorified, that ye bear much fruit, so shall ye be my disciples. As the Father hath loved me, so have I loved you. Continue ye in my love. If ye keep my commandments, ye shall abide in my love, even as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. These things have I spoken unto you, that my joy might remain in you, and that your joy might be full. This is my commandment, that ye love one another as I have loved you. Greater love have no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. Ye are my friends, if ye do whatsoever I command you. Henceforth I call you not servants, for the servant knoweth not what his Lord doeth. But I have called you friends, for all things that I have heard of my Father I have made known unto you. Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you, and ordain you, that ye should go and bring forth fruit, and that your fruit should remain, that whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it to you. These things I command you, that ye love one another. If the world hate you, ye know that the, it hated me before it hated you. If ye were of the world, the world would love his own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. Remember the word that I said unto you, The servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my saying, they will keep yours also. But all these things will they do unto you for my name's sake, because they know not him that sent me. If I had not come and spoken unto them, they had not had sin. But now they have no cloak for their sin. He that hateth me hateth my father also. If I had not done among them the works which none other man did, they had not had sin. But now have they both seen and hated both me and my father. But this cometh to pass, that the word might be fulfilled that is written in their law. They hated me without a cause. But when the Comforter is come, whom I sent unto you from the Father, even the Spirit of truth, which proceedeth from the Father, he shall testify of me. And ye also shall bear witness, because ye have been with me from the beginning. Amen. God bless every single one of you. Hope you have a very blessed Monday out there. Please be safe with these travels. The weather has gotten better than it was showing. It was showing a terrible ice and snowstorm, which is really scary. But things are better. Amen. <laughs> safe travels to everybody. All glory. All power. It does go to Yahweh. God of Jacob. <laughs> Our Father. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord every day. I am so thankful and so grateful for all of you. I wish the best for each one of you.